If you had to buy a new car, would you ever purchase it without air conditioning? What used to be an optional is now a must-have, and in boating the gyroscopic stabilizer has had the same fate. The reason is that Seakeeper is aiming to reduce by 95% the onboard rolling. And just think that more than 20,000 units have already been sold, of which 4,000 in 2021. But what is a gyroscopic stabilizer? How is it made? And why it works so well? I'll explain it in just a moment. This is The Boat Show. By now, Seakeeper has become a synonym for gyroscopic stabilizers, but this is actually the name of the company that produces this product. Definitely, the reason is the boom that this American company has had in the past few years, also thanks to specific patents that make their products very efficient. First of all, we have to understand what a gyroscope is. It originated in 1851 from the brilliant mind of Foucault. That same year, he invented his very famous pendulum. This is a gyroscope, and it is the same as that, but much smaller. It consists of a spinning flywheel with a toroid shape. A toros is a geometric form that looks like a donut, which rotates very fast around its spin axis. It almost works like a spinning top. Just take a look. I input power with an electric engine, and I make the flywheel rotate very fast. And here it is. Thanks to the result of vector forces, the gyroscope stays perfectly balanced, and you can even feel it with your hands that it is difficult to change the angle of the rotation axis. It's a struggle. Now I'm going to simulate the rolling. I hold the gyroscope by its ends and I move it. And he reacts by moving like this, suddenly and abruptly. This is called precision motion, which is the natural reaction of the gyroscope to an external force acting on it. And this is exactly what uses a gyro to cancel the effect of the roll. To better understand, let's imagine that the gyroscope is like a person standing. The faster the flywheel rotates, the more the person can spread his feet to gain more balance. Now, if you gave a person a push, that person would have a reaction instinct and would try to stay balanced. Well, the gyroscope has the same instinct, thanks to the precision motion, but it does not know how to dose its reaction because it would push immediately with its maximum force all at once in a seemingly uncontrolled manner. And so, to make a gyroscope become a gyroscopic stabilizer, Seakeeper's engineering comes into play. Today, we are on board Beneteau Flyer 9, 9.10 meters in length by 2.97 in beam, with more than 3,350 kilos of displacement. How does such a small object hold down a boat that is so much larger? Just think that its mass is less than 5% of the total mass of the boat. We know that everything starts from the rotation of the flywheel, which is enclosed in a sphere. And at its maximum regime, it reaches and holds 9,750 rotations per minute. The figure is impressive, and it is made possible thanks to the vacuum, which, thanks to vacuum encapsulation, provides for rotation in the absence of air. This has many positive aspects. First, at the same power consumption, you can achieve three times the rotational speed. Second, as the power of the gyroscope, that is the horsepower, is the result of three aspects, the mass of the flywheel, its diameter, and its rotational speed as one increases. In this case, speed, the others, namely weight and volume, can decrease, which in boating is a huge advantage. Third, since to maintain the vacuum inside the sphere, the whole thing is sealed. No internal components suffer erosion caused by the marine environment. In short, in this system, the flywheel can be smaller, lighter, and it can rotate very fast by consuming very little electricity. Fantastic! This is one of the models that works with direct current, the Seakeeper 2, and it consumes 20 to 25 amps an hour. Only with this 12 volt lithium battery does it have a range of four hours. Electric circuits and electronic components are cooled thanks to a patented cooling system with glycol and seawater combination, with a seawater pump and an exchanger, just like a marine engine. Now, to understand the fundamental step of the Seakeeper operation, we must consider one last factor. 
and that is how a wave is formed. Well, there are so many types, all different with a period that goes from 2 to more than 20 seconds. And the natural reaction of the gyroscope, that is the precession motion, wouldn't be adequate for all of them. Here, there is an inertial module that reads the acceleration of the boat on the three-axis and communicates everything to a central brain that manages an active control system on the gyroscopic effect. Practically, these two pistons are a real braking system that immediately reacts and manages the precession motion all along the period of the wave. And thanks to this new active control system, all the models in the Seakeeper range can be used both at anchor and while navigating, at any speed and with any swell. But where must the Seakeeper be placed for it to work at its best? Well, the answer is very simple, wherever there is space. On this Beneteau Flyer 9, for example, it has been placed in the aft locker without sacrificing the boat's habitability. Moreover, if there wasn't enough space for one big unit, there is the possibility of mounting two smaller units in two different places on the boat, because the stabilizing action is summable. What is the minimum size of a boat to install the Seakeeper? Well, it is very small, almost 23 feet, so it can be used on a small tender as well as on a maxi yacht. Now that you know everything about the Seakeeper's gyroscopic stabilizer, you just need to test it. Imagine that you come here and test the boat on which we are recording this video, in the town of Lavagna, located on the Italian region of Liguria. But during the summer, there is a summer demo tour, so you'll be able to hop on board and try to navigate without rolling. Because, as they say, once you try it, you'll never boat without it.